Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do that Dear Santa cute little placemat. Um, whether you wanna do it on wood, you might wanna do vinyl, or if you wanna do it on an actual cloth, like fabric placemat, um, I would recommend uh, HTV, so iron on vinyl. So this file is one of the cutest ones that I've that I've seen. It's, it, I wanna say it's my favorite because of all the details. So if you wanted this particular one, uh, where you would go is Creative Fabrica, and it's $4. It's Dear Santa Cookies and Milk. So it comes as an SVG file. It comes in, in other formats as well, um, but it gives you two options. There's the, here is my favorite cookie, and then here is our favorite cookie if you're making it for multiple kids and you only want one place fat. <laughs> so, all right, let's go back into design space. So here it is. Now, um, I'm going to say this is very similar to buying on Etsy as well or any uh, SVG sites is you never know what you're going to get because each designer is different and how they do it. And then also you don't know um, what changes that you want to make. So this is the way this looks. It's all one color, right? But you might want to make some things red, some things white, green, all that good stuff. So I'm going to show you how to make those changes. And then um, you can recreate this on your own. Like I said, this was $4. Um, if you're doing a few of them, I don't know if it's worth the effort. I will show you some things. I mean, you know, you just gotta find uh, a carrot of your own, a uh, couple circle things. I can show you if you don't like this wreath, we can do that. So let's get started with this file when you first upload it. It's got a lot of stuff on here. So let's try to um, make it a little bit more design space friendly. So for instance, what I mean by that is ungrouping things, welding certain things so that it, we can work with that. So let's first ungroup it because it's all one big thing, right? Um, the other thing, actually, before I ungroup it, what I would do is, let's move this over for a second. Let's bring in, let's create the shape that you're going to put this on. So for instance, if you have a placemat that you're going to be using, which a lot of people buy from the Dollar Tree. So let's bring in a square. And I would say most of the time it's a rectangle. So you wanna make sure that you unlock this shape so that you can make it um, a rectangle instead of a square. Um, I'm gonna guess, I have not bought one of those placemats, but I'm gonna look at my ruler right now on my, on my desk. And I'm gonna say maybe it's about 20 by 12. So let's do that. Let's change this to 20 and this to 12 and I always do this because I don't want to measure everything individually um, like I don't want to think about okay how big should deer be deer Santa be in comparison to the circle wreath um, this does not look right what did I do um, I wanted 20 by 12 oh it's definitely not 20 by 12 is it Oh, because it didn't update. I'm like, this does not look like 20 by 12 because it's not. I typed in 12, but I didn't tab it yet. So it didn't update the other length. Thought I was going crazy. Okay. Um, let's reduce this size, as zoom out just so that we don't need to move up and down. So what I like to do is let's, you want to make it whatever size that you're doing so that you can resize it appropriately. But um, all you need to do is arrange and send it to the back. So this is up here. So you can see like on this one, we're gonna wanna make this a little bit bigger. Um, like what I was saying is, I don't wanna think about what, it, what each piece individually should look like. I just wanna think, okay, on this mat, if I resize it, everything should be resized appropriately. And then you can think about where you wanna place things. So hopefully the mat is not 20 by 12 because it's so rectangular in comparison to this piece. But let's assume that it is. All we're gonna do is we're gonna just start moving things out. But I think for the most part, this size looks good. Um, what will be nice is everything won't look so smushed together. There's gonna be space like, hey, here's your drink, and then a little bit more space, and then here's Rudolph's carrot, etc. So let's start 
Now that we know what this looks like, let's start ungrouping this thing. So ungroup, let's see what we have. And the other thing is, you know, you're gonna want to attach some of these things because you want the words to cut out um, on your HTV together. Like I don't wanna individually place, here is a drink in case you're thirsty. That's gonna be one piece. So let's start looking and you know what? It's always easier for me to see when the mat is a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna make it a light gray because we still want this to be a placeholder for us because we're gonna start moving things. The moving things isn't going to change how we're gonna cut it, but you, this is a chance for you to easily see and you could still resize. So for instance, if you really like the way these, um, uh, the wreaths look, maybe you wanna make it a little bit bigger because your plate's bigger or you're gonna put the cookies on a plate, something like that, we can um, resize it now when using this template in the back. All right, so let's break this down and see what we have. So we have Dear Santa here. So the word dear is one piece. We can see that as well as Santa and then all our squiggly lines. So I am going to attach this because I don't want the individual squiggly lines to be separate pieces. So I like that together. So I'm gonna attach it so that it cuts together. And before we do this, let's go to the, let's see. No, I'm talking out loud. <laughs> All right, so here's Dear Santa. If we want to, if you wanna make it more in the corner, you can. And you can see, hold on, let me undo this. Those little hanging ornaments kinda goes with Dear Santa, right? Oh, what just happened here? This is a big file, so it's gonna slow us down until we can start to weld things together. Um, now that I think about it, so I attached this Dear Santa part, but I think I almost want to weld it because right now it's in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's technically, the way Design Space is reading it is it's nine separate pieces attached together, but I feel like this could be welded together. It wouldn't change anything, but it, the one thing that it will do is instead of the nine individual pieces it was, it is now gonna be one image. So it does um, free up design space a little bit um, from a fast speed, <laughs> a speed standpoint because it's hopefully it's not gonna hold up our file as much as we start to weld these things. Like for instance here, this this right here says what? Here's um, here's your milk or something like that. So all of this right now, each one of these letters is an individual piece. So I definitely don't want that. Oh, I see. It welded and it put it in the back. Okay. So let's put our square arranged sent to the back. Oh, it is in the back. Where did my dear Sorry, what happened to our word, dear? All right, I'm scrolling on the side to see where it went. Oh my gosh, and all these little dots, what are those? Are those these individual, yeah, see we need to, okay, I don't know where it went. All right, let's look at these wreaths because I think that's taking up a lot of space as well. Oh, the stars and the individual lines. Okay, I see. Let's move this out for just a second. Oh my, where did my dear Santa thing go? I thought it was hidden. Let me undo this for a second. So weird. Oh, there's my dear Santa. Okay, so here's my dear Santa. What happened? I want to weld it. Okay, so there it is. So see, instead of nine line items, it's now one piece, right? Let's go look at this wreath. 
So the wreath is separated in two, so that's good. And it's two separate pieces, so we're good there. Let's look at carrots. Okay, so Rudolph's carrots is in multiple pieces. So let's weld carrot together. So you see how I'm grabbing the C and the A, basically the word carrot. You wanna hit the shift key, or actually you can just grab this and weld it. So it's gonna go from six individual pieces to one piece. Let's do the same thing for Rudolph. And this is just gonna free up design space a little bit more so that it, it'll, work, it'll go a little bit faster for us because it's, it's a little slow right now. Um, what is this? This is, oh, here is the drink. Let's weld that as well. Okay, what is this? Love. Now, if you want love to be a different color, this is the time to do it. Um, if you want the comma to be a different color. So for instance, this one is gonna be, if you want it to be red, cause you wanna be extra, or actually let's do, oh no, we can't cause L-O is together. Okay, and let's say you want L-O-V-E and you want it white. This is where you would change it and you would weld it. So instead of four individual lines, it's now two lines. Let's look at what else we have here. We have the little house and the squiggly line on top. So let's, you see how it's grouped together? We wanna ungroup it because if you wanna change the color and you also don't want it to cut together, um, these cute little squiggly lines, I almost feel like they should be um, like even a different texture. So like glitter HTV for instance. So let's make these green. So you can start editing here. This is where I would do it. I would start changing the colors so that you can also see what um, what is happening and if you like it or not. I mean, obviously when you go to cut this, you can still make changes, but this always helps me, you know, just visualize like, do I have too much green, too much red, whatever. Okay. So here's my carrot. If you want your carrot to be in orange, this is kind of cool. You can have the carrot be in orange but the squiggly lines around it could still remain black. I kind of like that. Um, you can make this squiggly line. Yeah, let's keep it black. Um, so that looks good there. Let's see, what, what else is going on here? Oh, these are the individual pieces here. Okay, so um, this is this right here. So I would grab it and maybe weld it together. So it's one piece and I feel like it's starting to free up design space a little bit more. If you wanna change your colors, now's the time to do it. Um, let's see what else. Let's look at these presents. Okay, the presents look good, the wreaths look good. Okay, so this thing right here is still um, individual items. So let's look at what is this. This is, oh, here is our cookie, okay. Here's our favorite cookie. Let's weld that. Such a cute file. So if you were remaking this, cause you didn't want to spend the $4 on Etsy or Creative Fabrica, but if you have a membership to Creative Fabrica, <laughs> it's included in your membership. So you could really uh, work on that. And I have a 30% off discount every month. So if you buy your membership, and you use my code, use the useless crafter 30, it's 30% 30 off every month. So I do, I do love it because I love not having to keep track of my fonts. So that's the main thing. All right. But if you wanted to recreate this, basically you have to have images from somewhere. I, otherwise I feel like it's too much of a hassle. I would go into images here and look up, um, a wreath look up Santa sleigh, look up reindeer, look up house, and then individually place it. Then you gotta find your different fonts. So it really is, I mean, the time that it would take to, to do this, I feel like it's worth my $4. But if you have, like I said, if you have uh, the membership, then it's just all included. All right, so I'm gonna ungroup the two wreaths because I wanna move the wreath out a little bit more and actually probably make it a little bit bigger as well. So let's look at the Santa sleigh. 
So the Santa is in pieces. I'm also going to weld that together. And maybe move him down here a little bit. So this gives me, let's see, if I move Dear Santa up here a little bit more. The only thing that I really want to resize is um, the wreath in case you wanted to put way more cookies and a big glass of milk. Or actually, this is the milk, right? The milk doesn't need to be bigger. And I would move these little dangly thingies. So they are all grouped together. Oh, I see. So they're like this. So you can see like you can start to move things around. I mean, obviously when these things cut, they're going to cut individually. Um, so that's not going to change. But I think this helps rather than trying to place it and then figure it out. So um, that gives you more room to move the carrot over. What is all this? Oh, this is all together. All right. If you don't want all these together, which I was the one, oh, you just need to ungroup it. Okay, so this one goes here. This one's Rudolph's carrot. Maybe do this. Move this up a little bit. Make this way bigger because we want a lot of cookies. Um, actually, you can move this whole thing up. This little snowflake, all oh, these snowflakes are interesting. Okay, so one of them is in pieces. So let's ungroup it and then weld these together. Yeah, that one I need to weld together. And you can also make it bigger. So just think about, I mean this, how big is this? Um, ooh, it's tiny. It's gonna be a hard cut. I <laughs> let's see this carrot. Okay, maybe make the carrot even bigger. Right. So just you want to look and and make your life a little bit easier. Weeding this is gonna be difficult at the um, size that it originally was. So let's look at this. And maybe because we're making everything bigger, we don't need so many snowflakes, right? Um, so the milk is still gonna be small. Maybe we can use, move these presents over. And maybe you don't need this house. I'm not loving this, this bigger. Um, that's a little, and then Rudolph's carrot, we can move up a little bit more. Let's move this little squiggly line over here. Okay, this is giving us more space, right? And now we need to add our name. So, um, I'm gonna do Charlotte because <laughs> all things Charlotte. Um, I'm also going to use my favorite font right now, which is Hanaberry Koo, also from Creative Fabrica. And I like this one because it's whimsical, um, but it's not hard to cut or weed. So, um, but if you know, I normally would type out her name. Oops, and I don't want it all uppercase because I want it to be scripty. Um, I like to do it in Inkscape or why is it? Oh my gosh, I'm on caps lock. I'm, 
I think it's time to be fed. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you here because in case you don't want to use Font Lab Pad, even though I highly recommend it, or Inkscape, because Design Space does not does not put all your script letters together. So you can see even though this is um, a script, it's all funky, right? So you will hear a lot of people recommend that you just basically um, grab the name and then go to letter space and decrease the letter space. So you can see things are starting to move closer together. The problem with that is, I'm gonna show you here. Let's see how big this is. Let me make this a little bit bigger so you can really see what I'm talking about. Okay. Do you see the space between these two T's? It's a lot wider than the space between the L and the O. So as I decrease my letter space, at some point, some letters are gonna touch, other letters are not gonna touch. So that's gonna be a problem. So I really, I mean, I will ungroup it and I will just move it individually. Um, but here's another problem. So do you see the two T's? The little crossing or whatever, it just looks so bad. Like it's gonna look like, you're gonna have that mess right there. Let me show you what this name looks like um, the way it's supposed to be and I'm sure I have it in here somewhere. So give me just one second to find it and I'm gonna show you why it's better to do it in some other app because when you have the double T's or a T and an H next together, a lot of times the designer will have it so that it's all connected like really pretty, um, which is hard to recreate when you don't have it. Oh my gosh, okay, so come on. Let me see if I can find my daughter's name really quickly so I can show you the difference. And then you get to see all my projects. I would love to peek at some of your projects and see what you have going on. Um, I must have a Charlotte in here. That says December. Hold on, I do stuff for her all the time. I cannot believe that there's no Charlotte in here. And in this font nonetheless. Okay. Um, Ink? No, this is a different font, but it's still a good example. Oh no, it is Hannah Berry Koo. Yes. Oh no, wait. No, that is the one that I'm looking at. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. All right, I'm going to show you this, show you a few more things, and then we're going to end the video because I think, um, all right, it's taking so long. All right, I know I'm kind of stuck at this point. Okay, so is it letting me move? Okay, so here it is. So, yeah, this is not the same font, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna weld that for a second. And let me delete the offset. <clears throat> and if you haven't been doing offsets, you really need to give me a shot to show you how to do it. Okay, so here is Charlotte. Now keep in mind, this is a different font, okay? So I don't want you to think that it should look this way. But you see the T? When there is a double T, a lot of times, like I said, the designer will change how that looks. So it's one little cross thing, whereas this is going to show two. So that's why I don't like... I don't like doing um, doing it in design space, so I'm just gonna delete this. I am gonna use this font, um, but you want to resize it, of course. It needs to be just a little bit smaller. And actually, if we can move this over, then this won't hit this at all. But, you know, it's going to look something like this, right? Now I feel like these little presents are a little bit too small. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. Should 
change this one and you you know you kind of do want to make everything a little bit bigger because that's going to help you in the end uh with the cutting and the weeding when things are too thin it's you know it's definitely harder to work with anyway so it might be a good time just to resize everything although these little pieces are oh my gosh come on it keeps moving my mat even though okay so for I'm going to show you just a little bit. I mean, you can see how you can move things. And this is from a bot file, right? Um, and you can throw back in the snowflakes if you wanted to. I think it's really cute. This is a really, really, I told you, it's my favorite one that I've seen so far. So I'm definitely going to make something like this. Um, I just don't know the colors I'm going to use just yet. Um, I guess I can save all these here for now. Now, if you were starting over, but you had this image that you wanted to recreate, I mean, it's just so cute because you can't really do these extra lines in Design Space, um, but this was made perfectly for this font. But you you could, you know, you could do like Charlotte like this, right? And do Dear Santa. But again, don't do it in Design Space because then you're gonna be physically moving each one of these letters. So if you were recreating this on your own, I would create the template, like the size of your mat first so that you can kind of get a feel for in relations to this, um, this mat, how big should things be? So I would do that and then start placing things in. So find the fonts that you want, the images that you want. Um, but I still recommend you buying it. <laughs> Support your fellow designers and then also save yourself the sanity and time to recreate something that's so pretty already. All right, so we're gonna cut this and I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna do different colors, different um, textures. So I'm gonna mix in there some glitter HTV and some regular vinyl, regular HTV. Um, and just make it kind of special and every year we're gonna use it, all right? So I'm gonna be on a, a Christmas kick this week. So it's the last week of October. It's still a little bit early, but I feel like with the whole pandemic that people are really gonna decorate Christmas because we're already home. So I'm gonna try to do a lot of Christmas projects um, within the next two weeks. I have a revised Grinch off the mat that I wanna do. Um, I also wanted to do, um, what do you call those things? Um, the Nutcracker. I wanna do that this year off the mat, so make him about 30 inches, and um, a wall Christmas tree. So stick with me. Thanks so much. Let me know if you have any specific requests for the holidays. I am taking requests for Christmas stuff already, so let me know. I will see you in a bit. Thanks, guys.